Have you been wondering what happened to Dion, my sick lamb? Well, today I'm going to fill you in on the rest of the story. Hello friends, my name is Julie and welcome back to my farm. You may have seen in a previous video, I went over the story of how one of my lambs named Dion became very, very sick. We wound up bringing him into the house and treating him for listeriosis. At the end of that video, I sort of left you hanging. We didn't know at that point whether he was gonna get better or not. And it sort of stayed that way for a week and a half after that video ended. He wasn't getting any better, but he wasn't getting any worse. So we just kept treating him. Uh, I did wean him off the antibiotics. Um, a few days in and he seemed to do fine with that and so I sort of weaned down his thiamine treatments as well and we were really treating him like an invalid we were getting him up and moving him around repositioning him trying to get him to stand with our help and just trying to keep him comfortable and limber and trying to keep him clean really and eventually one day when we were helping him he was able to stand although very briefly by himself and that's basically the point where we knew he was gonna turn around. I'm happy to report that Dion is doing much, much better now. He slowly got better from that point. He was able to stand with our help uh, for longer and longer periods of time, and then eventually he was able to get up on his own and reposition himself in the stock tank that we had him in. When it seemed like he could handle it, we started putting him outside just in the front yard where we could keep a close eye on him first for maybe 30 minutes, then an hour the next day, and slowly built up some strength because that would really tire him out. And eventually he was staying out for half the day and then the whole day and he was starting to really roam around the yard. He was grazing really well, so it just seemed like it was time for him to rejoin the flock. So we were really happy when that day came and we were able to put him back. And luckily everybody was really calm and greeted him really friendly. Um, nobody pushed him around. Dion was one of our largest lambs before he got sick and unfortunately he did lose quite a bit of weight even though he was eating the whole time. Um, just he wasn't eating as much as he should have been to maintain his weight. So he's got a little catching up to do. He's still a little bit unsteady but that gets better every day. He's a little bit stiff. You can tell his back is a little bit hunched but um, he's more and more alert and steady every day. He's definitely gaining weight and getting strength back. So happy ending to that story. I also briefly wanted to address our use of antibiotics. I know that can be a bit of a hot button topic, uh, especially in meat animals. And I wanted to be clear that I am totally against the routine use of antibiotics as a preventative or to overcome bad living conditions, um, like in CAFOs. Uh, we don't do that sort of thing. I have some antibiotics on hand. Honestly, the bottles that I have usually expire before I even stick a needle in them. That's how infrequently uh, we end up using them. But in the case where I know that antibiotic can help save a life, there's no way I'm not gonna try and use it. I'm not gonna eschew modern medicine um, when I know it could help save one of my animals. Now, when we do have to use antibiotics in an animal, we use it as sparingly as we can. We record the dates that the animal is given that drug so that we can adhere to proper withdrawal times. And each antibiotic has an FDA approved um, amount of days before that meat is considered safe to eat from that animal that's been given that antibiotic. 
And in the case of the one that we used, uh, the withdrawal time is 28 days. Now, Dion is nowhere near close to his slaughter date. We're looking at three to six months, probably closer to the six month mark before he would be ready to go. And when we do reach the point where he is ready for processing, he will be earmarked for personal use only. And that way we know that without a doubt, we're not introducing any possible antibiotic residue into the food supply that we sell to the public. We like to eat a lot of lamb too, so it works out great for us. So that's all I had for today. Thanks for following along with Dion's story, and I'm glad I could bring you a happy ending. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.